Here is everything you need to know to make your Nova Lite OP without any of the BS. Starting with his weapons, his best weapon is easily Tomb of the Eternal Flow. Around 11% better than his next best weapon, R5 Sacrificial Jade. Keep in mind, Jade will be much closer if Novalette is vaporizing and getting value from the EM. If you don't have either Tomb or Sacrificial Jade, other options are Cash Flow, Balad, Lost Prayers, Prototype Amber, and Wood Sith. These weapons are all substantially behind Tomb and Sacrificial, so it may be in your best interest to eventually get either Tome or Sacrificial. For Novalette's artifacts, you absolutely want 4-piece Meirashusei Hunter. The set is perfect for him, about 13% ahead of his next best option. If you don't have a good 4-piece Hunter set, you can use either 4 Heart of Death or 2-piece two 2-piece two options between Hydro and HP. However, Meirashusei Hunter is so far ahead of these options that it may be worth using even if your substats are mediocre. For the main stats, Novalette is very flexible. You want an HP% percent Sans, but the Goblet can be either HP or Hydro, and the Circlet can also be either HP or Crit. HP% percent Goblet and Circlet are within 1-2% of Hydro and Crit, in favor of HP Goblet and Crit Circlet. With the right substats, you can even get away with using triple HP. This can make Novalette's artifacts pretty easy to build, which is very nice. For Novalette's teams, the ones I recommend the most are Double Hydro with Novalette and Farina. Farina is the perfect teammate for Novalette, thanks to her long-lasting buff and art-filled damage and particle generation, as well as Hydro Resonance. In these teams, Farina deals incredible damage alongside Novalette, since she will have very low ER requirements and benefit from all the same buffs as him. Novalette's self HP drain and healing is also enough to allow Freena to get high fanfare even if not using a healer. For the full team, I recommend Novalette, Farina, Kazua, and either Zhongli or Charlotte. Kazua is great for his damage bonus buff and BB shred. Zhongli is great as he will prevent Novalette from getting interrupted and he actually provides good buffing here with his Resistant Shred and 4-piece Petra. But keep in mind you do need to ensure you are picking up the Crystal Eyes with Zhongli for Petra if you want to get high value out of him. As an alternative to Zhongli, I recommend Charlotte. She has incredibly high healing that can easily fully heal even high HP characters like Nubilet and Farina, and her AoE R-Field Cryo application provides Freeze, which can give Novalette an easier time avoiding getting interrupted. For non farina teams, the ones I see the most are Vaporize, typically using either Zhongling or Burning to supply Pyro for Novalette to vaporize his damage. A team like Novalette, Zhongling, Kazuo Child has great damage potential, but using Zhongling as solo Pyro can be an energy nightmare, so just keep that in mind. There's also Hyper Bloom, with a team such as Novalette, Raiden, Zhongli, Nahida, using Hyperbloom as a form of sub-DPS damage alongside Novalette. Or a taser team like Novalette, Fischl, Kazuha, Zhongli, utilizing Electro Charge to swallow both elements for Fischl and Novalette's damage. And both of these teams work out pretty well. But overall, his strongest and most recommendable teams are easily his Farina teams, but Vaporize, Taser, or Hyperbloom are all good alternatives you can use instead if need be. If you are considering getting Novalette's constellations, they are excellent and, in my opinion, the best constellations of any DPS unit in the entire game. C1 is his best early constellation, arguably his best constellation altogether, providing a massive 21% damage increase, and making Novalette completely invulnerable to interruption with doing his charged attack, as long as you have 3 stacks of his passive, which you pretty much always shield at C1. C2 and C3 are also great, providing 11% and 18% damage increases respectively. C4 and C5 are pretty much useless. And then C6 is a massive 55% damage increase. So if, if you are looking to invest vertically into Novalette, definitely get his C1. Once you have C1, I recommend going for Tomb of the Eternal Flow. Then, if you want to invest farther from there, you can get his C2 and C3. 
or you can just get Farina constellations instead once you have C1, R1, Nouvellet. That's pretty much all you need to know to make your Nouvellet OP. If you found this video helpful at all, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and comment your thoughts below. Thanks. Bye.